firewall in the second part we discussed about the generations of firewalls and in this part we will be discussing about different types of firewalls that are available in the market so guys and girls you will be uh, happy to know that we have already discussed some types of the firewalls in the uh, second tutorial that is the generations of the firewalls and uh, we would be uh, uh, further discussing those types so first type of the firewalls are called packet filters and we have already discussed that there are two types of packet filters number one are the stateless packet filters that were introduced in 1980s and they only checked the authenticity of the packets and the second type of the packet filters are the stateful packet filters and they check if the packet is uh, uh, a part of the existing communication or if it's the part of a new communication or if that packet is not a part of any communication and based on uh, the, these three states it can decide what to do based on the predefined rules and the second type of the uh, firewalls which we have already discussed in the generations of firewalls is called the application layer firewall so application layer firewall uh, mostly uh, works in combination of packet filters especially the stateful uh, packet filters and it works on the application layer of the firewalls and it can uh, basically uh, uh, check the authenticity of the packets the connection status and the ports or ports and the protocols of the packet and if those ports and protocols are allowed then application layers of filters would allow the packet to either enter into our system or the network or to go out to the internet and uh, the third type uh, of the firewalls which we would be discussing today are called proxy servers or the proxy firewalls and the fourth type which we would be discussing are called the NAT firewalls or network address translation firewalls uh, there are there, 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 some people say that there is an other uh, kind of a firewall that is called uh, the new generation of the firewalls but I would say that they are just the uh, the newer version of the application layer firewalls and they do the deep packet uh, inspection so now let's discuss about proxies so first let me tell you what is a proxy server a proxy server uh, you can think of a proxy server as a server which sits between your local area network and the external van or network that or the internet and all the communication is done via this proxy server so you can think of it as a, um, as a firewall because in this uh, proxy server we can allow uh, the protocols that can be used to, for communication the ports which are open and which are closed and uh, we can also define different set of rules we can uh, uh, block the websites or different services of the internet based using the proxy servers and the uh, uh, advantage of proxy server is that if we have got one internet connection and we would like to share it with all the computers 
on our network, then we can use the proxy servers. And the proxy server acts as a firewall because it, uh, it is between our computers and the internet and it uh, uh, prevents the unauthorized packets or the unauthorized connection uh, mm, request uh, not to go out or in the system. So these are called the uh, third type of the firewalls. There are the proxy server. The fourth type of the firewalls are called network address translation or NAT firewalls. And basically, uh, 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 the network addresses, uh, private network address system or the table was developed uh, to facilitate the organizations uh, which had a large number of PCs. So, in an ideal case, uh, they would had to buy the public IP addresses and that would cost a lot of money. Therefore, uh, a NAT system was developed uh, based on which uh, mm, there are the private I, uh, addresses and the private address table and uh, there are internal network address for each of the PCs in the internal network and uh, when that uh, when uh, the communication is turned uh, to the external network through a router or a firewall, then that uh, router or a firewall or a computer system uh, uh, changes that private address into the public IP address and sends the uh, uh, packets to the internet to based on that single public IP address. So in this case, the internal network, the uh, private addresses of the network are secured and the outside person or the outside uh, computer may not know the internal IP address or the address of, for example, this PC. So the firewall acts as a bridge. It, it screens uh, the private IP addresses uh, to be seen from the external users and it changes those private IP addresses into the public IP address when uh, those IP addresses passes through it and therefore those PCs um, which are our internal on, on our internal network they are secured and uh, they, nowadays uh, they call a new type of a firewall, but it's an older type and it is called new generations of firewall and JF and GF, but uh, it's just uh, uh, do the deep packet filtering. Uh,